फिर आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन रिकर्सिव डिसेंट पार्ट्स वन ग्रामर इज देयर आई हैव टू राइट द प्रोसीजर्स फॉर दीस नॉन टर्मिनेंट्स एंड वी शैल सी हाउ वी राइट द प्रोसीजर्स आई एम यूजिंग सी लैंग्वेज सो आई एम राइट यूजिंग हियर I'm writing C function void s void s. Uh, I'm taking I'm using here integer main integer i. And F. Okay. Now, and I'm taking one character, character string. I'm declaring this I and F as integer type, which is global, and character str. This is and this is a string or which is global declared. Now I initialize this. I put initialize zero here also. Or equal to zero. Initialize equal to zero. Now print f. Enter a string. To be parsed. To parse. Scan F or send S str. Now I will call this function S. S. Okay. Now in S, what actually is happening? This string i. If this string i is equal to a. If it matches with a, then it i will be increased, and then s is being called. So it calls function s. Okay. If start symbol is a, then it will reach in this. If it will reach, i will be increased, and it will call s. If it starts else, if str i is equal to b, then i will be increased. And if it doesn't match a or b, something else is given, then else f will be one. Flag will be one. Yeah. Okay. Now I will see what to write here. If str len str is equal to i and f is equal to zero, if length of the string Will be equal to this side, and flag is zero. Then I will print. I will write it. Print f. The string parsed successfully. Else. Print f. The string rejected. So this is C function, which is describing how to write C functions. 
to for the grammar S produces A S or B. We have given this grammar S produces A or plus or in bracket T. T produces S U. U produces comma S U or epsilon. Now we have to write functions for this grammar. This part will be remain same. So I will write here void S. What actually S is doing in S? What is happening if Express sorry, it's str. Str i is equal to a. Then i plus plus. Else if str i is equal to plus i plus plus. Else, if str i is equal to open bracket, what is happening here? i is increased by one. Then t has been called. Okay. Then it should be closed also if. Str i is equal to closed bracket then i plus plus else flag is equal to one. Okay, because if it's not ending with Close bracket, then there will be error. That is over. Else f equal to one. If this the string doesn't start with a or plus or open bracket, then flag will be. Else f will be one. This is the end of this function s but actually t is doing void t t is calling s and later u and what actually u is doing now void u U is matching with comma if str i is equal to comma i plus plus then s is being called and u is being called. Okay, if not starting with comma, it's epsilon, so I'm not writing anything, it will return. So, this is the functions written for this grammar. One grammar is giving us e produces t dash, e dash produces plus t dash or epsilon, t produces f t dash, t dash produces star f t dash or epsilon, f produces in bracket e or d. I am using d as character here. So, I am writing procedures or functions in C. So functions in C void e, what e is doing? e is calling t and later it is calling ed. I am using ed here. Because dash is never used in identifiers. So what ed is doing? Void ed. If str i is equal to plus. If it's starting with plus, it is increasing the value. And later it's calling t. 
e dash e d if it's not starting with plus so it will be replaced with epsilon so no need to write anything here it's okay now what t is doing void t t is calling f and later t dash is called so i'm writing t what td is doing void td if str i is equal to asterisk then it is increasing by 1 then f is being called later t dash is being called here if it's not starting with strict then epsilon means nothing is has to be done so now f void f what f is doing if str i is equal to open bracket then e function is being called when e is called later it has to be closed so if str i is equal to closed bracket one increment is there else flag will be up. for this part if it's not closing then there will be one flag which will be one which will be one okay and if this is not starting with open bracket what will happen i will write it here if it's not starting with open bracket b is there so else if str i is equal to d i plus plus if starting if it's starting with d then there will be one increment there else flag will be one so this is all about the functions and the main part will remain same as it was in our uh, previous examples.